stuff home from Christmas and everything, which is crazy, but I'm just slowly bringing it over and getting it reorganized. So that's what we're gonna do for like the next hour is do all of our packing and laying out things that we need so that we can be all prepped and ready. I already filled up my car with gas today, took a nice shower, washed my hair, went last minute grocery shopping for like any other things that I would need and started packing my car with a sleeping bag, my snow jacket, scrapers, extra water, things like that because I'm not even kidding you. Last time this happened, if you go, when I first started my job, which was 11 months almost to the day, there was a snowstorm in the middle of my orientation week and the whole hospital was on like modified operations for many, many days. Nurses on my floor had to spend the night in the hospital because they literally could not leave. They had closed the road. They couldn't get plows through because people abandoned their cars. Like it was insane. I'm hoping that's not gonna happen to me, but I am packing and planning like it might happen to me. And as a night shift nurse, I refuse to like sleep in the hospital during the day. I just feel like one, I wouldn't get good sleep and I just can't do it. So I'd rather sleep in my car, honestly. I know it's weird. Hopefully that won't get to that point. Obviously my car is very well equipped because I have snow tires on it and I drive in the snow all the time. So I personally am not like super concerned about me getting home because I only live 10 minutes away from the hospital that I work at but the hospital that I work at is surrounded by hills and probably the most sketchy roads in Portland. They sent out emails assuring us that they have this under control and after last year's craziness, hopefully they've learned their lesson and have like some better things prepared. I already texted my coworker and I'm like, hey girl, if you need a place to stay because you live much farther away, you can stay here at Hotel Kiara or I will take you like up and down the hill the worst part of it. So we'll see what happens. We may be helping our friends along the way. I'm gonna put away all of these bags and things so that I can just feel like my life is a little bit more together. And then we'll start the prep for tonight's work shift. it's about 3 45 and I would love to take a nap from like 4 to 5 that means I'm gonna prep everything so that when I wake up all I have to do is have dinner get dressed and go to work we're gonna pack our lunch and this time we're gonna pack a really really big one with lots of snacks in case something happens where I have to like work a 16 hour shift and stay over because people can't get in. Or... So we're gonna start packing. I'm super excited because today's video is actually sponsored by Factor. You guys know I love working with them. I've worked with them for the past couple months. And if you guys don't know what Factor is, they deliver fresh, never frozen meals that are ready in two minutes right to your doorstep. They're so convenient. I think I know exactly the two meals that I'm gonna pack. I'm gonna pack two because you never know if I'm gonna need two lunches for this craziness. But they look like this. They're so delish. You literally just take this off, put some little ventilation holes in this bad boy, heat it up for two minutes and it's ready to go. And it's so delicious. Today we're gonna pack sun-dried tomato chicken and garlic mushroom chicken thighs. Right now I'm doing the keto plan just to get some good protein. They also have a protein plus plan. They got vegetarian options. They literally have over 35 different meals a week for you to choose from. They're all handcrafted by their gourmet chefs and honestly, they taste amazing. My dad is even hooked on Factor because they are that good. Making sure we got napkins here. We're getting the forks going. Two of them. We got spoons. We have a cookie. I'm packing some banana bread as well. I swear working on nights, I literally rarely have time to meal prep. And so Factor just makes lunch really easy. I wanted to also show you guys the amazing wellness shots that Factor has to offer as an add-on. I tried this one the other day. This one's lemon, apple, ginger, honey, turmeric. This one is spinach, kale, celery, lemon. This one, which is the one I'm gonna try, is apple, ginger, lemon, cayenne. They have a super special offer. If you guys wanna try Factor for yourself, you can head to factor75.com 
Instagram or click the link in my description box and use the code Kiara50 to get 50% off your first box as well as free wellness shots with every order while you're an active subscriber. It's an amazing deal. I'm not gonna down it in like one. Like I actually enjoy the taste of these, so I like to kind of sip on mine. Cheers. Definitely taste the kick of cayenne but that lemon apple ginger mm, that's delicious i've actually decided that i'm saving these cute little bottles to use for traveling because they're the perfect little size so i've just been peeling off the labels and then cleaning them out we're doing a kombucha and one more banana bread this is a very full lunch let's go pick out our scrubs what do we want to wear tonight i always start with like which bottoms and top i like to wear let's do the blue ones like snow the trauma llama socks because they match the orange band you can't see it but it's a whole matching set my shoes are there sports bra i like to lay this all out right here just need a vest to wear and we're gonna wear our puffer vest because it's cold out there let's get the puffer we got puffer vest and then the only other thing that i need is a sweatshirt because i usually get cold in the morning this is one of my favorites from the brand kavu they have like super fuzzy stuff. So I like that one and it washes really well. I also always put out right here my AirPods and a pen. We're gonna do pink today. Otherwise I won't forget. This backpack is getting so tiny. Oh my goodness. Oh boy. I think I need a bigger backpack. We got it in there. We are officially ready for nap time. All I need is a blankie. Today we're going with our tortilla blankie because it's time to be a nurse burrito. I actually got a decent nap and sometimes I can't nap, but I nap for like 45 minutes, which was pretty good. Now I'm starving and we're gonna go eat. That's why Factor is really nice because it's literally ready in two minutes. So we're gonna heat up my other dish that I didn't pack. I charged my Apple Watch because I wanted it to be all charged for tonight. Still no snow, so it's probably gonna be really easy to get to work. My friend is gonna come over just so that I drive her up and then that way we can drive back down together. We're gonna do the turkey chili and zucchini. I just finished charging up two portable chargers. They were already pretty much charged, but I just topped them off so that we could be fully ready in case there's a power outage because last time I got snow like two years ago when I lived here. It was an ice storm and we lost power here for five days. Hopefully that doesn't happen again. Heater's on, we're getting ready to eat. It's ready. Dinner is ready. We are having turkey chili with zucchini and I just got this cute little mushroom guy that now I can put my food on. We're gonna watch a show and enjoy. Let's try it. Mm. This is one of my favorite ones. It's such a comfort meal and it's got a good little kick to it. If you like spicy stuff, this is definitely one I would recommend trying. If you're a nip We are all ready for work. Everything's by the door. I took out the trash. The only thing left to do is to make the coffee. My coffee maker broke, so I make it downstairs in my apartment. There's never enough water, so I have to bring my own water. And I'm pretty sure they're out of K-cups as well. We're gonna grab one of our own. I'm gonna take out the trash, get my coffee, come up here and use my own creamer. <laughs> and then we'll be ready for work. Oh, I know, I need to blow up my candle. Four things. Let's do this. Let's hope we have a good shift. Good patience. Have good inner patience. I'm just gonna tidy up the living room. I love coming back to a clean apartment. There's just something about it that makes you feel like you have everything together and it's so nice. I'm not sure how much I will talk to you guys during my shift because we've been having really busy patient assignments and it's just been crazy. But now that we have an official break shift nurse this year, as long as we're properly staffed and we actually have the break shift nurse, I should be able to get a break so that I can talk to you guys. Let's have a good shift. Why, hello you guys. I'm actually on break because I'm the break shift nurse, which is so fun. I've never been the break shift nurse and it's cool to see how this works and it's like a different flow. I may become a floor nurse depending on 
if everybody's like super busy and they need to pull me onto the floor on staffing. But for now, I'm a break shift nurse. So I was like a CNA and did everyone's vitals for the first chunk. And now I'm starting to give everyone their 15 minute breaks. And I'm on my break. Gonna have some checks mix and relax for 15 minutes. My floor did Secret Santa. And even though it's like almost mid January, my Secret Santa was gone. So finally, I came to work and my Secret Santa gave me something. So we're gonna do a little unboxing of what I got for my Secret Santa. There's a note involved. Dear Kiara, Santa's elves got very backed up and took a long time to make one of your gifts. We're so sorry. You are a joy to work with and always keep such a positive light no matter the situation. We hope that you had an amazing holiday season with lots of skiing. Love, Santa. Now I'm so curious who my Secret Santa is. Oh my gosh. We have one of these pens. I've always wanted one of these. It's got like different colors on it. Very fun. Okay. Oh my goodness. Cute little bag. I love this. Oh, a Starbucks gift card. And little earrings in here. These are so cute. Pretty little earrings. Creature cups. Hidden creatures in your cups. Oh my gosh. You guys, it's a little piggy and it's hiding inside of my mug. I don't know if you can see that. There's a little pig in there. So as I drink my tea, my little pig. I'm dead. This is so cute. My secret Santa knows me too well. I have no idea who this is, but this is so sweet. How cute is this? I'm obsessed. Lunchtime. It's like one o'clock. My night is going pretty well. I'm giving people their breaks. It's feeling good. Definitely being the break nurse makes the time go by like a little bit slower, but overall I would still say it's nice just to have a little bit of switch up. I'm gonna do what I like to do most breaks, which is put on my sweatshirt, listen to Jimmy Kimmel while I eat, and then I hop in this bad boy, the massage chair. Go back to giving people breaks. You were looking how to fight. I was to make it on my mind. Good morning. You guys, we did it. We made it home, night one. I don't know about what's gonna happen later tonight. It's definitely starting to snow harder and it's so windy, but I did drive three of my coworkers home or to their bus stop, which is really great because we gotta help each other out and we gotta make sure we all come back tonight because we're short like two nurses. I honestly love being the break shift nurse and I have a feeling they already told me they're like, we're gonna pull you into the main assignment because we're gonna need you. It's gonna be a tough assignment, but that's okay. That's why we're home. We're gonna get some good sleep. I'm gonna show you outside the window what it looks like. To me, like the roads weren't bad, but I can see how they're like icy for other people, but I honestly did not notice it in my car. Okay, here's the view of what it looks like. Out there. Okay, I don't know if you can see how windy it is, but I'm gonna try to like zoom in. Okay, you can kind of, there's like more gusts. Let me see out this window. You might be able to see it a little better. It's gusty out there. So right now the roads are just like that. You know, nothing too crazy, but you can see like the power lines are swaying. I definitely hope I have power, which reminds me, I am going to plug in everything right now, as soon as I can. It's 63 degrees in here, which to me is like plenty warm. Cause I usually love to sleep when I come home from work freezing cold. We are gonna wash our face, brush our teeth, PJs really quickly so we can just immediately hop into bed. I had a delicious bagel sandwich with one of my coworkers from Spielman's, obviously. We just had to treat ourselves. It was kind of a busy shift, like at shift change. And so we all needed to um, eat our feelings just a little bit. Let's go to bed. I'm gonna talk to you guys when I wake up and it's gonna be literally like a little kid waking up and opening the window. Cause I'm gonna be like, what is out there? I don't even know. Flurries are getting bigger. That means I need to go to bed. Let's wash our face. Update you guys. I'm not sleeping super well. It's like 12.32. It's super windy. I don't have power. That's a fun little surprise. The roads don't look too bad though. It's just so windy and it's snowy, but it's like all blowing around. So we're gonna stay warm and try to get a couple more hours of sleep.
Good morning. We must have power. Yay! My phone's at 94%. 310. A lot of forced sleeping. Weird dream that I was like kind of awake for the whole time. I can see that it's white and snowy through the window. I'm just glad that my power came back on. Because frankly, I just don't want to throw out my fridge. Okay. It's snowy, but it's like so windy that it's literally blown off. This is the this is the outside. That car's chilling. The driving should be easy. It's so windy. I swear that is why I couldn't sleep because it's just like pellets of snow smacking my window so aggressively. We're turning on the heater. Okay, while I still have power, I'm gonna make myself some tea. It is pretty, but it's weird because it's not the normal like blanket of snowfall that we get that's like, oh my God, it's so magical. We're gonna use the Whistler mug. To the drink dresser. I think we're going for chai. I haven't slept that poorly in a long time. I can't tell if the power lines were always like this or like they're doing some crazy things. That's why I couldn't sleep because it's like a full on storm and my apartment is like a little aquarium and so everything's just pelting against the glass. I need to make a move. Currently in my foggy night shift nurse state, this is how I feel when I only sleep like four hours and then try to flip, but the fact that I have to go to work tonight and be in this mental state is not ideal. I can't really fall back asleep. I'm just in brain fog mode. I literally woke up like every hour, so I knew I wasn't getting good sleep. Ugh. Now I have to decide if I want to cook myself avocado toast or try to eat stuff from my freezer before I probably have to throw it all away because I can't tell if my fridge is turned back on or not. So so I can make myself an egg and avocado toast now, and then I can eat something from the freezer. My avocado agrees with me. I'm gonna turn on a show. I'm watching Breakpoint on Netflix. It's like a Netflix show about tennis. At least I have power. My parents do not have power, and they just declared a state of emergency in their city because there's so many down trees and power lines. So I'm feeling blessed that I have power at least for now. The winds are so bad. They said there's a down tree on the road to work. So there's like a one way traffic, but they didn't really give a lot of details about what it's looking like. All right, we're getting up. It's officially 5.20, which means I need to start eating more food, getting ready for work. I'm like watching cars go up my hill perfectly fine, so I'm not terribly concerned, but I've just spent the past hour working on star orders for my kids on ski team for our first race. It's really complicated because we've never had them all like race together, and I've coached like both groups of incoming kids and, ex and the past kids, so. It is a major puzzle to try to figure out how to make it fair, but also to like give our team the best shot. It's just complicated. It's a good spreadsheet, but at least we got a draft started and all the names are on the spreadsheet. Color coded and teams, three different teams are all in one ski team. So they all have to have different start lists. And it's taking me a while to do and like try to look up results and stuff. We're gonna get ready for work. I think I'm gonna heat up something from my freezer or soup. I'm not sure. The avocado toast did make me feel a little bit better, which is a win. I'm gonna do my hair and slowly start to get ready one more night. Devoured some soup dumplings and now we're ready to get dressed and brace this. I'm just noticing that the street lights like literally one block below me are flashing so they're out of power. And that's what I was trying to decide is do I run my dishwasher right now and hope to God that it finishes washing my dishes or do I not risk it? Could wake up to clean dishes and come home to him which would be really nice. We gotta hurry, we have 17 minutes till I wanted to like be outside dealing with whatever situation is outside. You guys, the time is now 6.57. We are getting ready to bundle up and go to work. I have my lunch pack, fire bottle filled, everything's looking good, a little puffer vest, extra layers, a water bottle in here. I don't know how I fit this yesterday. Really just gotta shove it in. We are ready, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go assess my car situation. Hopefully it's a good day at work. It's gonna be a little crazy. Hopefully everyone makes it in so it doesn't get more crazy. But I'll talk to you guys on my break if I get one because there's no break nurse because I'm probably gonna be on the floor. Got all properly bundled, so here we go. Gloves are on. Hopefully I don't have to scrape my car because the cars don't really look buried. They look like wind blown. It's literally 14 degrees. There's a decent amount of snow outside. My car is perfectly unburied. 
I just made it to work. I left way too early. It's literally 6.19 and I left at like 6.05. So it took me like 15 minutes to get here, which is three minutes longer than usual. It was slick, but I was just driving slow. Like nothing I haven't dealt with before. Yeah, I could see how like if you didn't have a car with all wheel drive, it would be challenging. But now I'm just here. So I'm gonna sit in my car until like 6.30 and then maybe I'll go get myself a Starbucks and go hang out in the nurse's lounge a little bit. I'm so early, but you know what? We're here safe and sound. We're hitting up the vending machines because I'm starving and there was no Starbucks open today. I only see the flavors, but I like the lemon yerba. So we're gonna get a yerba. All right, let's get some caffeine up in here. It's literally freezing in this hallway. It's so cold and things are leaking. It's a good time. All right, back to work. I'm on my lunch break. I colored a cute little sign for one of my patients who is just super tough and I wanted her to wake up and smile. So I colored a little sign for her. Heating up my factor meal right now. We're doing mushroom chicken thighs with a side of green beans. Very cold here, like on the sky bridge. It's freezing. I am wearing long sleeves, this, and my vest. And I usually don't put on all these layers until it's like 3 a.m. And my parents still don't have power. I also have like finally had a second to look up news articles of what is going down and there's just like trees everywhere. That's the problem with Oregon and the wind is like the power lines are destroyed and they're not really sure when they're gonna get power. Luckily, Doug is smart and he's got a generator set up so he already refroze everything in the freezer and he's got like a little fireplace. He sent me a picture of them like heating up potatoes on the wood stove to put in their sleeping bags. So he said our, my parents' house is 33 degrees like inside the house, it's very cold. I told them that if they wanna come to my apartment to hang out, that I would rescue them tomorrow. But I'm probably gonna end up taking a couple of my coworkers home. I rescued one on the way to work. I had to turn around and go pick her up just so that she could like make it up the hills because it is like a little bit sketch. That's the update. I'll probably talk to you guys when I get off my shift. Lots of lobster draw today and I'm probably gonna be giving a lot of blood products. So I'll probably be really busy for the rest of my shift. It's my meal, let's eat. Oh, it's hot. There's also five nurses sleeping over in the hospital, which is crazy. We have like most of our rooms are full with people, but I get it. Like why drive all the way home if you just have to come right back here and risk all the treacherous things. Gotta do what you gotta do. I'm gonna turn on a show. You guys. Why are there alarms going off? I just want to be on my break in my massage chair. It's the fire alarm. Honestly, I'm going to wait it out for a little bit. All right, code red. It's on floor six. We're going to get out and be helpful. <sighs> break is interrupted. Here we go. <laughs> okay, the beeping has officially stopped. Now it's just flashing, but we're going to finish our break because I think it's over. Even though they're still announcing it. It's about 15 minutes of my break, so I'm gonna go enjoy it. And everyone's all good. I checked on everyone. They moved all the stuff out of the halls. The sixth floor is like maintenance. And apparently, I didn't know this, but we're already on back of generators. So it could be something there. Our tube station is down, so we have to like walk our labs down and get our own product and everything. It's a good time. Back to where we were. It's 3 a.m. and I am running our labs down to lab to get run because there's no one. Oh, that sounded weird. Because there's no tube station, so we're gonna get our labs in. I can't put my hand there without going to bed. Without the going to bed. It's cold up there. We made it. Guys, it feels like a sauna in here. 68 degrees. We have to turn this thing off so I can sleep. We did it. We survived our stretch. We made it home. We took our coworkers home. We had a fun little adventure, a little spicy night. It all ended well. My dishes are fully dried. I still have power. This is fantastic. Well, you guys, this is the end of my stretch. Thank you for coming along on this adventure with me. I honestly, I felt way less alone and it was so entertaining. So far, my parents still don't have power. So we'll see, I might be hanging out with them later tonight. I'm gonna try to sleep for like four and a half hours and then wake up so that I can flip 
because I have to coach tomorrow at the mountain. Busy schedule. From what I know, they're closing like a lot of the resorts today because there's literally no power anywhere. I'm just feeling grateful that I do have power. If you guys like coming along on these stretches with me, give this video a thumbs up and I will film more of my routine and my life as a nurse. Today's question of the day is going to be, what's the craziest natural disaster that you've been in? I would say the craziest was probably the ice storm where I didn't have power for five days. That was like, that was good. It was a good test to my limit. But comment that down below and I'll be sure to reply to you guys. Thank you so much to Factor for sponsoring this video. I love working with them. Their meals saved me. I had something hearty and nutritious every night for lunch and it was fantastic. So if you guys want to try Factor for yourself, be sure to use my code QR50. You get 50% off your first box as well as the wellness shots as long as you have your membership. I love you guys so much. I will talk to you in a video very soon. Goodbye. <laughs>